Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 6, The Finale. This is an episode of Quest from someone on Patreon. You know who you are, thank you, thank you so much. I really want to make sure you know how much I appreciate all your support. And yeah, just thank you, thank you, thank you. It's really appreciated. And second thing I want to say is, if you're hearing noises right now in the background, and we're, hopefully you won't really hear too much with episode playing but if you do hear a little bit of something that's because I have um three different fans going on right now because the AC in our house is a little wonky right now it's on it's working but instead of going like cold air it's just kind of doing like lukewarm air and it's like near 100 degrees outside for the past couple of days and this has been going on for a couple of days now we're getting it fixed someone's coming tomorrow to look at it but as of now, it's starting to warm up a bit. Usually the basement where I'm in, very cold, very nice. I love it that way. I love the cold. But today it started to turn a little bit warm. And I don't like that. So I have my big giant fan that's always in my bedroom. I have that running, flowing some air around. Then I've got like one standing fan on low, far away from distance right now. That's like blowing air from a distance because it's a little loud. So I didn't want it close. And then I have a small little fan like back here that's giving me air from the side lightly and then I have another small fan on the table in front of me but it's not on right now because it's too loud and I was using it when I wasn't filming but <laughs> yeah so I have lots of airflow right now which is great it's a lot of wind though a lot of breeze but I'll survive I'm very excited to watch this episode though to watch um The Walking Dead finale of season one I haven't watched this in a little while now but um I'm excited for the last episode to see what's going to happen. I can't believe it's only six episode season, but I kind of get it for a first season of a big show like this. But I'm also just scared what's going to happen. They all made it to that, um, can't think of the acronym, but that's the building for help the one guy was at. And we'll see if he can help or where they go from there. Do they just camp out from there? It seems like a pretty good place to just, like, hunker down and live. I honestly... Still do not remember much of the show or what happens, especially in the beginning. I really only remember where I ended and a couple of the characters that die. I don't know how they die. I don't remember a lot of them, how they die or what happened to them. But I know that and I know a couple characters that have not showed up yet. That's my knowledge of Walking Dead up to whatever, you know, what happens. At, I believe it's the season 7 finale or season 8 premiere. Something like that where someone gets killed and my love for the show really went down. <laughs> But yeah, you never know. I, I gave up at that point. You never know. But if I somehow end up keep getting requests for the show one episode at a time and make it all the way to where I was and I just keep going, maybe I also like it. I know I saw stuff about it that seemed really cool, but then I never watched it back anyway. But I saw stuff online. I was like, oh, that's a pretty cool idea. I don't remember what it was, though. My memory is shot. I'm basically a nine-year-old with my memory. Yeah, unless it's like certain shows that I, like, I know from Heart, like Grey's Anatomy, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Charmed. I know certain shows very well, I remember. Some, most, not as much. Unless big things happen. Game of Thrones, I remember. Okay, enough talking. Without further ado, let's get right into this, okay? Here we go. What's happening? CDC, that's what they're at. Oh, this is when it first happened? Oh, 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 shit, just kill everyone, holy shit, oh, and they're dead anyway, hmm, imagine if you had some people to help you out, imagine if you just kill all the people that could have helped you, so he tried to save him, or did he just block it off out there, oh, well, he tried to, All the machines, though. How are you gonna do the machines? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know what to do if. Oh, God. If I need you to do it now. Okay, now. Please, man, you just show me sign anything. Please, Ray. Oh. oh, shit. Bombed or something? Can you not tell if he's breathing? 
There's no way he just died right there and then just You just left him? At that point, the machine's dead. You could have unplugged him and put him on. But also, that would have been really hard to get out, too, and get him rolling in the streets with zombies around. Yeah. I don't really blame him. Believe me, it's shitty. But also, like, what could you have done? So that's all right. That was in front of his door. Okay. Oh yeah, the big bright light. Come on, go in. Buddy, you wanna come out and say hi? You didn't make it. Why are you here? What do you want? Yeah, the CDC. What do you think? They've got a kid. Be nice. Be good. You all submit to a blood test. That's the price of admission. That's fair. You got stuff to bring and you do it now. Once this door closes, it stays closed. Uh, okay, grab all your stuff. Right. See the main entrance? Kill the power up here. Wow. Good security. Dr. Edwin Jenner. Okay. I would say like before you on an elevator in them, I wouldn't I would test them first before hanging around with them. Same. In case they are infected. So you look harmless. Except you. I'll have to keep my eye on you. Mm-hmm. You claustrophobic? A little. Try not to think about it. Yeah, you just have to figure that out, because this is a good place to be. Bring up the lights in the big room. They got a system working for them. Welcome they can to talk to. Five. Where is everybody? The other doctors, the staff. Yeah, how is he the only one? That's what I don't get. Hello, guests. Welcome. I'm all that's left. Yeah. What's that countdown thing behind him? I've already broken every rule in the book letting you in here. Let me just at least be through it. Uh, yeah. It's not the biggest deal. Let it happen. You okay? A little lightheaded. She hasn't eaten in days. None of us have. Yeah, and getting blood drawn is not the best when you haven't eaten. Oh, and they got wine too. Children have a little bit of wine. <laughs> That's fair. Well, yeah. and when is in Italy or France, you can have some then. What's it gonna hurt? Come on. Yeah, uh, you're in the apocalypse. <laughs> right. Here you are, young lad. He's gonna hate it. I hate. It. I don't like wine. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them laugh and have some fun. Not you, Glenn. What? Drinking, little man. I want to see how red your face can be. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? What's up with him? It seems more than just our host. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got Look, you got a group of people now. Let's celebrate a little. Have fun. So What's you wrong with him? What the hell happened here, Doc? I am very curious. We're supposed to be figuring out what happened. Where are they? We're celebrating Shane. No need to do this now. Can we wait till the morning? I find all the answers instead. We uh, <laughs> found him. It's also a pretty safe fortress and solitude place to stay. It's not bad got bad a lot of people just left went off to be with their families and when things got I guess reasonable many couldn't face walking out the door oh they opted out damn it was a rash of suicide wow that was a bad time you didn't leave yeah what did you say Dude, you are such a buzzkill now. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. Most of the facilities, including housing, so you have to make do here. Couches are comfortable, but there are couches... That's better than where they've been. Don't plug in the video games, okay? Or anything that draws power. Same applies. If you shower, go easy on the hot water. Shower. Hot water? 
<laughs> it's kind of a nice place. It's not gonna last. I don't know why. I don't know how, but it's not gonna last. So we're gonna have a nice shower, we'll good night of sleep, and it's gonna go to hell shit tomorrow probably. And he's drinking and angry. Lord. Sorry, your best friend is alive and you can't sleep with his wife anymore. Hmm. Don't feel that bad for you. Oh. Oh, God. I feel, I do feel bad for her. What was that? A cough. Andrea? Is Andrea okay? Get it out. Here you go. Gross. Oh. Everything's good. It's better going down than coming up. <laughs> right now. No, it's over. There's nothing left. And it's hard to see when you, the, the you, see? you hope you had is not there anymore. I see uh, a chance to yeah. make a new start. You have a nice little place to live. You can start up here, build something, Dude, find new people. That's true. He did look like something. There's no cure. There's no nothing. Yeah, when the, head, when the one guy it's in CDC blood. is like, eh. There's nothing to help here with Dodd. That's rough. Actually, since they're drinking wine, I have my sparkling cider. You I got this to celebrate school being over. I haven't drank it all week. You don't know what it's like out there. You may think you do, but you don't. How bad it is, yeah. He's lived in a little bubble this whole time. Kept in the move it. Just kept it in. Kept it. It'll all be okay. Will it? It'll be okay. Your face says otherwise. I don't like what this countdown is. What is this countdown that's been on the wall? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, they have games. Good this is fun. Enough. Enough to keep us okay, busy for books. Years. Alright, come on kids. Bedtime. I like that. Here Having books. Browse a bit. You can't have TV. Books are the next best thing. This is the first night we might actually get some real sleep. Hmm. Yeah. Sleepy. It's nice. And now that you're saying all this nice stuff makes you feel like it's going to go to shit even faster. Like in the middle of the night or something. Shane, don't do stupid shit. Don't. He's drunk. Oh god. He's, what are you about to do? I'm gonna tell you a few things and you're gonna listen to me. Oh my god. Shane, go to bed. How can you treat me like this? You're kidding, right? <laughs> you told me my husband was dead. Yeah. Alright, I, I, do you know what it was like there? Huh? Okay, it was yeah, but it's still a lie. A lie is a lie. And I did not know what to do. I even took my ear and I put it on his chest and I listened to a heartbeat and I did not hear one. Then you're I, 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 deaf. I don't know why. Maybe what it was, but there's no way he could survive that. No way. He did. He did. But then he I did. had y'all to think about, didn't I? I had you. Oh, y'all? No. Think about it. I had y'all to think about it. That's what no. I had to do. Just stop it. You thought for one. Oh, do not touch her. You and your little boys, that's what I did. I. Shane. If I could have Go to bed. I would have. No, you wouldn't. I would trade places with him right now because. So no, 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 you. You. Mm. You. No, don't. Uh, no, you don't. I know you. That's the thing. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, you're the way that you want. Just give me the same case. Stop. Hey, Listen. Hey, you love me. Get your hands off. Get your hands off. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, stop. Stop. Shh. All right. Just. Oh, my God. Shane. There you go. Good for you, girl. Ooh, she really scratched him up. Good for her, though. But fuck Shane. She's got a husband and a kid. I 
feel bad for her. She's really stuck in a rough situation. Because I don't... I, I do kind of blame her for moving on with Shane. But it wasn't that far in the future. Like, really, his best friend. But also, like, he came back and you immediately went right back to him. Once you knew he was alive. Which was good. And Shane can't handle that. Everyone keeps saying we're safe here. This is perfect. Starting a new life. I'm like, no, you're jinxing it, people. Jinxing it. We're not saying what's her name at all. The black woman, like, we're not getting any attention on her at all compared to everyone else. I'm sorry, Jimmy. Mom has a learned habit. Bacon. Bet you can't tell. Glenn. Never seen you do that before. Mm -hmm. Not like me at all. Mm. Mm. No one noticed in that. Doctor, I don't mean to slam you with questions first thing, but you will anyway. Yep. Come <laughs> I would. Here. Give me play back of TS19. Play back of TS19. Look, they got TV. Few people Big ass ever one. got a chance. To... Is that a brain? An extraordinary one. Is that a Walco's brain? Not that it matters in the end. Take us in for EIV. That countdown is still going. What does any of this mean? Somewhere in all that organic wiring, all those ripples of light. Is there Did actually you... someone f videotapes this? Is there? I don't feel like this is real possible. I'm infected. And volunteer to have us oh. record the process. Oh, interesting. So I'm volunteered Bye. to be bitten and tested on. The first event. Oh. It's like what some of it's still going, but all that stuff in the middle gone. It invades the brain like meningitis. Interesting. The adrenal glands hemorrhage. Death. Wow. But then how's it when it was brought back? Will be. Is that what happened to Jim? Yes. She's not worried about her dad at all. She lost somebody two days ago. Her sister. Yeah, it's still a little raw. The resurrection times vary wildly. We have reports yeah. of it happening in as little as three minutes. Oh wow, three minutes. The longest we one minute. Seven seconds. Oh. A little spark. Fascinating. It restarts the brain? No, just the brain stem. Basically it gets them up and moving. But they're that's not alive. It. The frontal lobe, the neocortex, the human part, that doesn't come back. The you part. Yeah. Now you're just a walking, moving animal. Driven by mindless instincts. God, oh. what was that? Oh. It could be microbial, viral, parasitic, mm. fungal. So it could be many dog? things. There's that. So I have no idea. Somebody no must idea know something. Somewhere. There are others, right? Other facilities? So you keep heading to new CDC? Facilities keep trying. People like me. You don't know. How can you not know? Everything went like, down. Yeah, communication is not exactly around. There's nothing left anywhere. Nothing. That's what you're really saying, right? That nothing left at, at all. I can't believe that. There's got to be some government organization up somewhere in the world that's studying this and doing something. Somewhere in the entire world. Europe, Asia, somewhere. Dr. Jenner. I know this has been taxing for you, and I hate to ask one more question. The time, yes. What is it? That clock. It's counting down. That's what I've been saying. The basement generators, they run out of fuel. Lies. That was a lie. 
Vi, what happens when the power runs out? Oh, when the power that. runs out, facility-wide decontamination will occur. Oh, that doesn't sound good. What happens when, so, taking contamination? I don't like the way Tina cleaned up. Right yeah, does that mean, like, that. like, when he did the decontamination last time, it was fire? In there. Oh, I see flame. Oh, flammable. It's all flammable. What happens, though, if they just somehow cut off that ability to do decontamination? I'm going to turn that off. Ooh, almost on empty. It's empty. Oh. Uh, the last fuel. Emergency oh. Oh. Already? Damn. Mom? Wouldn't they run out of air eventually Mom? if they don't have any power? Because uh, circulation, because lockdown, unless they can open up the roof, get some air circulating. The way that he's like preparing kind of for things to end is not a good sign. I did the best I could in the time that I had. He try. He did try his hardest to find a cure. Got all dressed up and everything. That's not. I don't look like that. They always think there's gonna be more time. But there never is. Air isn't a priority, and lights. It's not up to me. Zone five is shutting itself down. Hi. Hey, what the hell does that mean? You guys got here just in time as everything's going to shit. Computer's running to the last possible second. I start as we approach the half hour mark. Right on schedule. What happens though? It was the French. What? They were the what? last ones to hold out as far as I know. Well, our oh. people were bolting out the door. Let's go to France somehow. As they stayed in the labs till the end. They thought they were close to a solution. What happened? So, can we head there somehow? Thing that's happening here. A power grid. Yeah. Ran out of juice. Hard to make a cure without power or electricity. It's on fossil fuel. I mean, how stupid is that? <laughs> True. The hell with this stuff. We're getting out of here now. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Grab it all. Who's that? Shit's about to go down. Gotta leave. This place is about to explode or something. Doc, what's going on here, Doc? Everybody, y'all heard Ray kick your stuff. Let's go. Go now. Yeah, come on. Get, get in go. Get in go. Come on. Whoa. They just locked them in. Within the 30 minute window, I am recording. Carl, Mama! The hell? Let them out. Son of a bitch. Can't be that hard just to let them out. Don't hurt him. He's the only one that can open it. I told you. Once that front door closed, it wouldn't open again. You heard me say Why? that. What? You couldn't tell them? It was like a little more... What, is. what? What happened? Weaponize! Small box! Ebola oh, screens that can wipe out half the country! Stop the well, evil one getting out! Well, oh, we already got stuff that's out. So what? It burns it all? So no one can touch it and it doesn't get out? HITs, high impulse thermobaric fuel air explosives consist of a two stage aerosol ignition oh. that produces a blast significantly greater power and duration than any other known. It's all gonna blow up and die. The vacuum pressure effect ignites the oxygen between 5,000 and oh, 6,000 degrees and is useful for the that's... loss of life. Sets the air on fire. Wow, that's not good. Let them out. How do they get out of this? I, I know there's more seasons, a lot more. Stressed out. Now what? Yeah, that's not gonna help. I'm away. Don't think that's gonna help either. You realize you're at the CDC. The amount of money the government spent on this. For who? All of you. You know what's out there. A short, brutal life and an agonizing death. 
but they want to try. Seen it. Is that really what you want for your wife? And I don't want this. I don't want to be blown up either. Yeah. <laughs> Those doors are designed to withstand a rocket launcher. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Again, he's the only one that can open those doors. Daryl, think about it. Genius. You knew it was just a matter of time before everybody you loved was dead. Yeah, he did say that. Today. Well, be you, maybe not here, but somebody, somewhere. What part of everything's gone do you not understand? But how does he know that? No communication. He's separated. One place. What takes us down? This is our extinction. The end. Event. I don't know about that. It may bring the human population close to extinction, but I don't think it's going to extinct everyone. Any moment, a, a, a millisecond, no pain. My daughter doesn't deserve to die like this. Yeah, think of the children. More compassionate to just hold your loved ones and wait for the clock to run down? Is no. Okay. I'll blow your head off. Do you hear me? Brother, brother, this is not the way you do this. Again, not we'll gonna help. Get out of here. Exactly. Yeah, he dies, you're doomed. Oh my gosh. Oh. Throw the computer, I guess. Chills up wasting bullets, though. You need to breathe. Shane. You done now? You done. A little hissy fit. What now? Everyone's looking at him for a solution. I think you're lying. What? You're There's lying. There's gotta be a way out. If that were true, you'd have bolted with the rest by taking the easy way out. You That's didn't. true. You chose the hard path. Stayed and tried to find a way out. To her. My to wife. the computer. Oh, to your wife. Okay. Wait, the computer's named after your wife? Was your wife? Oh. She begged me to keep going as long as I could. Oh, damn. Lost to the world. Hell, she ran this place. I, I just worked here. In our field, she was. Oh, his inside. wife ran the place. Damn. Me, um, Edwin Jenna. She could have done something about this. So because you're not smart enough, you've given up hope? Your wife. There's other smart people out there. Got to be. A choice. A chance. Let us keep trying as long as we yeah. can. Yeah, just because you don't want to try doesn't mean stop other people from trying. Because what if there is a chance? If people got hope, don't take it from them. Run. Oh, uh, yes, rip the doors open. Top side. The day will come when you won't be. Damn. I feel like that will. Be, that's true. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. What's he whispering? What's he say? What, 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 what? I want to know. We got four minutes left. Come on. Four minutes to run. No, I'm oh, I'm she's staying? But that's insane. For the first time in a long time. I'm not ended up like Kim and Amy. She doesn't want to fight anymore. It's no time to argue. And no point. Damn. Not if you want to get out. Get out. Get out. Hey, go. Come on. Come on, let's go. Just going to give up like that? Stay? She's already made I'm her decision. Saying. No, Andrea, doesn't Andrea no. stay? Isn't she on the show longer? I believe. I thought. I Just thought go, she was on. Go. Andrea. Yeah, use those axes. Window. Get ready to bolt. Oh, that sound, though. Time's almost up. I don't know if that if axe isn't gonna work. I don't know if a chair is. Shoot. Go, get down, get down. Yeah. 
Ooh. It's tough. Rick, I have something that might help. Here, I don't think a nail file is going to do it. <laughs> Shut up. Are you looking? I found this in your pocket. Oh, grenade. That might do it. Look out! Everyone back the fuck up. Run, run. Oh. Yeah, run. Who's in there? Ooh. There we go. Really CGI glass there, but okay. Andrea. You win. Oh, he's gonna stay go. because she's staying. Okay. Oh, he's gonna. She's gonna change her oh, mind because she doesn't want him to die. Pulling anything. If you're staying, I stay too. Oh. He's writing for us out there. I don't want to face it alone. Oh. It's like a good daughter to him. I don't want you here. Too bad. You don't get to do that. To, well, we got to like two minutes left. Somebody's life, make them care, and then just check out. Oh, I love this man. Ooh. Nice. As far away as you can from this building. Wait, 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 wait! Here come. Oh, yay, yay! Come on, run. Oh, only 20 seconds. Wow. Well, very last second. Come on, let's move, move, move. At least he has someone to die with. Not the, both of them, they're not alone. Damn, damn. Duck and cover. Oh god. It literally air filled turned to fire. Ooh. Definitely better than all those zombies though. Wow. It disintegrated that building. Walker's gonna be coming over here because of that noise. Yeah. Andrea, it's okay. Keep moving. Let's get going. You just survive now. You gotta use your life. Use it well. Use it wisely. Use it well. Both. I remember that's that five vehicles, pretty good. Everyone's gotta be able to see that for hundreds of miles. Okay, that was the end of season one of The Walking Dead, you guys. Season one, episode six. Well, that, oh, I knew it wasn't gonna end well with them, I, even though they're like, in theory, that place was perfect to stay. If the generators would be able to stay on, it would be perfect. All live underground, lots of security, with power, with AC, with a game room, books. Live a nice life. There's a kitchen and all. Maybe leave every once in a while to hunt some food down, or get some more gasoline to live there. I don't know. Maybe if they had more time, they could have... Saved it up, or at least taken a lot of stuff with them. I hope some of them got some books, at least. You need some kind of entertainment to bring joy and happiness. Even though they're heavy to carry around, so. But, it doesn't hurt to have one or two. You just reread it over and over. If it's really good, hopefully. Um, Andrea almost stayed behind, but luckily she was convinced to go. Amen. Thanks to my favorite old man. Um, the one black woman whose name I just don't even know anyway died with the scientists, so I'm not super sad about that. I'm like, okay, didn't really get to know I was literally saying earlier in the episode that, like, they were not focusing on her at all. Like, everyone else had some kind of focus. She had had none this entire season. Like, zip, zero, nada. Also, that Shane moment where he, like, you know, to Lori and all that, I was like, what the fuck, Shane? He's... Got so many issues, anger issues especially. He has some real hatred towards 
on Rick and Lori and the whole situation. I get it. It sucks. But you can't blame her or him. It's a sucky situation. You are the one to blame for actually falling for her. She's at fault, but then she immediately turned back the second he turned out to be alive. And she has the right to be pissed off at Shane for lying. Shane doesn't really... He has a right to be a little pissy about it, but he doesn't have a right to take it out on any of them. Or to be like, feel like he's the one that's a victim here. Sorry, you're not. You're an adult. You had some fun sex for a little while. You caught some feelings. You gotta just push it back and move on. If you want to, separate from the group and leave. If you can't handle it. Like, don't try to assault this woman. Just because you're drunk. Not an excuse. Fuck. So I guess now they're gone and they're gonna keep trying to find something. I don't know what they're gonna look for. More CDC buildings more government things, something. There's gotta be someone still around, still, like, researching somehow with solar power or wind power, having a running facility somewhere in the entire world. Switzerland or, like, Iceland, somewhere, Antarctica. I don't know, right? I guess we'll see. Maybe they'll figure that out. Alright, again, thank you for the person who requested this. Love you, thank you, appreciate it so much. And thank you for everyone else watching with me. I hope you have enjoyed this and are having a fantastic day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.